we're joined by national security correspondent David Martin. Good morning, David. Good, Good morning. to have you here. What is the latest on the Russian troop movements? Well, uh, about 30 Russian warships have begun live fire exercises in the Black Sea. And if you plot the coordinates of those exercises, you will see that those exercises cover virtually the entire southern coast of Ukraine. Meanwhile, you have those exercises with 30,000 Russian troops going on in Belarus, whose border is just an hour away from the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. Russia now has 80 percent of the forces it would need uh, to conduct an all-out invasion, and the rest are on their way. Some of those uh, troops that we have seen uh, parked bumper to bumper in those assembly areas and satellite photos, mm -hmm. they're starting to move out of those assembly areas a little That's closer a to the border, but not yet into what you would call an attack position. The U.S. has intelligence that Putin has told his commanders to be ready to go on the 16th, which is Wednesday. Now, whether it all plays out according to that timetable remains to be seen, but we are clearly at crunch time. And uh, up until now, we've been able to see what Putin is doing, but haven't been able to know what he's thinking. He is about to have to declare himself. And this is just incredibly high stakes. President Biden has said he would not send in combat troops to Ukraine. But if you look at that map, we have NATO forces very close to Russian forces. There's a high degree of miscalculation risk. The stakes in this are, are really uh, incredibly high. I mean, you have uh, the sovereignty of a country, Ukraine. You have the uh, solidity of, a, of an alliance, NATO. But above everything else, you have the threat of a war between two U.S. nuclear and two nuclear superpowers, the U.S. and Russia. And that has to be avoided at all costs. And frankly, I think that is why Putin has been so methodical in this buildup and, in fact, maybe even telegraphing some of his punches so that the Americans have plenty of time to get out of the way. Because, you know, once the shooting starts, unintended consequences set in, political pressures build, and nobody can guarantee where this is going to end. And if that wasn't dicey enough, Putin has taken an annual nuclear exercise, usually run in the fall, and rescheduled it to run this month. And that exercise usually includes the firing of ICBMs, test firing of ICBMs, and of submarine launch ballistic missiles. Mm -hmm. The last time he did that, reschedule that exercise, was when he annexed Crimea. It's his way of saying, Ukraine is much more important to me than it is to you. Mm -hmm. And if I have to, I'll resort to nuclear weapons. David, thank you for clearly sketching out the stakes here. Sure thing. Good to have you here.